I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. Ready? But all will be yes, okay. ready. I'm I move ready on well, each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. Nice brain that'll do. I've changed for the better this time. I thought well, I, I would oh, never, never be oh, fine. I just did this. Oh, I just did that. Get I strive just <laughs> to say I'm alright. Right. Good luck. Good luck. And see you on the next time. See you on the next time. I'm alright. Seen a lot of change. Been a weird day. Been a weird man. You always get to do the intro, don't you? Yeah. I can't wait though. You're always so hyped up in the morning. It's unbelievable. That's a longer. That's a longer melting fish. Handy, thumbs up. Come on, monkey! Oh god, it's off the bloody monkey. Yeah. <laughs> Would be very, very nice. Right, yeah. Yeah. See you soon. What's that? <laughs> Do Merry Christmas or Alan was the mightiest fisherman of them all. <laughs> and make sure it does say that. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But I'll be okay. We've got it sussed. We were going to empty it. Yeah, we were going to empty it as well. We were empty it, but it's a shame, isn't it? Because we'd have moved it right up that way. Right. Steve Ringer. Oh, here we go, dropping names. <laughs> They're all practicing all the time. God, we. Oh, we're in the van. Let's just the mic is sorting his tackle out again. West side. <laughs> right. I'm in gangster mode today. We're taking no prisoners, Alan. No, no after prisoners. last week. What do you mean? What do I say? Hello, I'm Hello. David. Hello, this is David Wood from our good team. Back a year ago. I'll just wait everybody while uh, Alan sorts his bloody camera out. Right, good morning fish people, I'm Alan Noyce from Fish on TV and as you've just seen we are in the feeder master pairs at Holcroft for the winter league. My 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 people don't know that yet, I ain't uh oh. I ain't uh well, in you. I don't know what you say. Oh, do you hear what do I say? Hello, I'm Hello. David. Hello, this is David Wood from Bag Up TV. <laughs> right, welcome everybody. David's <laughs> going to explain because I know <laughs> bagger all about it. We're here at the Feeder Masters Winter Pairs, as Alan just said. Um, don't worry, we've come down separately. This is just to do a bit of a video in the car. Hey up, monkey! <laughs> hey, leave me monkey alone! Who is that? <laughs> it's David Wood. Sorry, I don't mate, like sorry. <laughs> Give him a quick elbow for the monkey haters out there, don't you worry. Um, yeah, so, uh, it's a team's event, and uh, this year I've teamed up with uh, the mightiest himself. I don't know why, because I'm hammering him. 5-0 aren't we in the oh, uh, not, just, not just get that in there while we're on here we I don't one. think they can see me on your camera you know. they can don't worry about that oh, right. um, <laughs> are you kidding can't see you <laughs> <laughs> he's here so um, yes it's team's event uh, it goes on weight we're at all Croft Fisheries we're on bridge uh, moats and Croft aren't we yeah. and today we've already drawn and draw. you are on I'm on moat 39 and I'm on bridge 20 bridge 20 which I'm quite happy about yeah. on bridge I think there's a there's an horrible peg on bridge isn't there where you can't chuck to a corner what's that oh it's 23 it's, 24 uh, yeah 24 25 all oh, right I'm all right then. 20 I did some practicing there 
foot gap, but it's a twenty good, all right. good area. That yeah, some yeah. nice bream and that in there, defo. All right, so yeah, I've drawn all right. You're not too bad, you know. I don't think you. Yeah. You. Are, I think you want to be a bit further down though. On the in the twenties, it'd be a better draw. Yeah. But there'll be some skimmers about. Yeah, I'm sure there will. Well, I think I'll have a look, but I'm pretty sure it will end peg. So. I've signed right. What, last one in section? Yeah. But I then it'll it. just start two again with another oh, section. Oh, yeah, of course it will, won't it? You're not M peg. <laughs> section. Oh. And it's the end of the section. So yeah, mate. you're either in a good good area or you want to be other end of section. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter, does it? We're going on weight anyway, that's what we. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't really matter. Um, bait wise, you can use Budworm and Joker. So we've got Budworm and Joker. We're going to give that a go. Um, we've got maggots, casters, all, all the job lot, haven't we? All the bream equipment, innit? Yeah. Um, no method feeders, carp count as a pound, are they? Correct, carp count as a pound, it's uh, a bit of a silver. It's, I tell you what, though, it's bloody freezing today, isn't it? Really cold. Is that a new hat, Alan? Have you covered your covered your hair up for winter? No, it's, it's growing back, that. Well, it is growing back, oh, isn't it? That's all that. I get is. How's Alan's hair? Is it grown back yet? I'm like, yeah, cheers. Thanks for. Uh, I'm all right, by the way. Yeah. I'm all right, but Alan's well, uh, hair's on its way back, yeah. I get loads of people asking me about me. I have to show them all too. Yeah. But, so thanks for that, Dave. That was really nice. Yeah. That. But we're not we're not against each other today, so we've got oh, a team up. We're, 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 we're a partner. Yeah, and you've got to do the business, haven't we? So let's. Um, so what do we think weight wise, Dave? Now it's dropped, this temperature's really come cold, hasn't it? What do you reckon? Because you're thinking 15 pounds each would be tremendous. Well, I th I think 10 to 12 pound. I think we need. Yeah. And if you it, on more, I think you're probably looking for about seven or eight pound. Yeah. I don't think that you'll. Yeah. If you get if you get over 10, I'd be I'd be well happy. But because yeah. uh, it think, is it is just silvers, isn't it? Mm. It's, uh, so if you catch 100 pound a carp and there's six carp, it's six pound. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> crackers, isn't it? Right, are we so going to get to get to us pegs, don't we? So, um, good luck, Dave. Yes, you do, too. Do your best. And, uh, I'll uh, come and see you at the end. And, uh, yeah, hopefully this year, they're paying the top eight, I think, or top ten. Right. So if we could sneak in the top ten, it'd be, I'll, be, I'll be happy. Yeah. There's 30 teams. Um, and there's some mighty fishermen here, aren't there? Yeah, well, don't worry about them. Steve worry Ringer about here, I've been talking to him, he's a nice fella. Never That's his footy. Never heard of him. Lee Kerry, Matt yeah. Godfrey, shaved his beard off. Don't know any of them. Jamie Harrison and uh, David Wood. Oh, I know him. Mighty. Five niller. <laughs> five, five times. Five times, I know him. Oh, I can't wait till this season's over and start again. Right. Good luck. Good luck, Monkey. Good luck, Dave. Right. See you later. Right. Here we are on um, Peg 20 on Bridge. You're probably thinking, why has he got bloody sun uh, glasses on in the winter? But the sun's directly in your face. Look, can't see where I'm casting. So that's the reason why, if I look like a bit of an idiot on the bank. So, um, I'm just going to have a short line, about uh, 18 metres, then I'm going to have one at 5 metres, and then I'm going to go three quarters to the other side of the bank. That's my plan. Uh, we've got Jamie Harrison next door and Matt Pillar further down, so in good company. Um, this is my bait source side tray. So I've got some maggots, casters, pinkies, a few pellets, a bit of budworm. Uh, that's my ground bait there. All the dark ground bait. That's it. And then uh, a couple of feeders, 20 gram winder feeder. 
vehicle and then I've got my up lamps, barbers up lamps. So that's it. We're all set. Three rods set up. One big feeding feeder. And then two for the short line just in case I crack off and one for the long. And that's it, job done. So we're not far off. Uh, Alan has not drawn probably the greatest peg in the world, but I uh, just said keep it simple and try and catch some fish. Um, hopefully he'll have, a, he'll have a decent day and um, yeah we should be all right I'm looking forward to it shouldn't be too bad at all it's supposed to be only seven degrees but it feels really red hot with that blooming sun on nice to be back at Allcroft lovely place no rain today so let's see what happens fingers crossed for a good day we need to get some good points some good uh, some good weight today in these pegs I think and uh, we'll see how we go on from there looking forward to it so uh, hopefully we'll uh, see you uh, in the rest of the match I'll see if I can ring Alan at half time and see what he's got let you know from the updates of what Alan's got I think he's going to do a video today as well so you'll get to see it from my point of view and then you'll get to see it from Alan's point of view so that'll be nice to watch you'll be able to watch this one and then watch Alan's or whatever so that uh, be quite nice that so, uh, yep, looking forward to it. Let's get going now and uh, we'll see you in a bit.
looking uh, too good at the minute. I've had, uh, well, we're about halfway through, and uh, I've had a bream, about two pound, and then about four or five small skimmers. But the sun's gone in, and the rain's come. So that's great stuff. I've talked to Alan. Alan said he'd had seven skimmers, which were small, and um, he said he'd probably got round about two pound. So we're not doing really, really good at the moment. Uh, Matt Pilly's had a few next door. So was uh, Jamie Harrison. I think he just had a bream as well. Just hoping this second half of the match gets a bit better because it's. Uh, we're towing a bit to be honest, it's hard work. Um, I see Lee Kerry over there, he's had a few, but no one's absolutely emptying it, so it's quite quiet down here and all. I feel like I'm shouting or something. But um, we're just going to carry on, see if we can get a few more, and um, hopefully in this last few hours we'll get, we'll get a couple more bream, that's what we want. All we can do is up, but it's bloody freezing now. Rain's coming, everything. So, right, I'm gonna crack on with this. So, we're not doing very good at the minute. Probably uh, mightiest, what did I say, about two pound. I've got about three, so <sighs> terrible. Right, let's uh, let's see if we can this second half of the match get a bit better. found That's it. That's it. Last fish it there. Right. Not done very well, but uh, that's it. That's the end of that. See what uh, Nosh has done. It's cold over there, don't we? No, mate. It's been lovely over there. Don't even know. <laughs> When I, I, I saw you lads fucking taking your jumpers <laughs> off, I thought, yeah. you know.
on his way home i've just talked to the mightiest as well um so i've got his results so i've uh, ended up weighing five pound eight not the best but i got a carp late on uh, just under arming and it just went round in a big dirty car i knew there were a few there because i was getting odd liner as well so i knew there were a few there but uh, i just couldn't get a bite for that an hour and a half through match it were ridiculously hard and i just couldn't get out just couldn't get a bite so it were quite hard work in, in areas but when I dropped on that short line it went woong woong and I got a bream and I thought hey look, we're alright here and then that were it dead so a bit disappointed that I had nowhere to go after that really and I've tried underarming caught a few perch and then I've got that carp later on so five pound eight just talked to the mightiest he said he had 25 roach or 25 small fish he's weighed in five pound so not the greatest starts but uh, I think we're a bit ambitious for twelve pound, but then again, if we'd have, if we'd have been a bit further down, um, I think we'd have, we'd have caught them. But it is what it is. Uh, Matt, the mightiest says he's beat each other either side, but uh, he said Steve Ringer were three down from him. He's had eleven pound Steve Ringer, so not not too bad. Not end of world, is it? But. It is what it is, and um, I'm not too sure of the results, but Lee Kerry does put them up, so I will put them up for you on the screen now. You can have a look, or I'll just put up who's won uh, on the top three of the pairs. And, I, and hopefully, by the time I do the video, Lee, uh, Lee Kerry will put out the leaderboard, so just uh, hope we're in uh, not, not last position. That would be a bit of a disaster, but then again, you got you, you know you can always find a few fish later on in these events so it's not end of world so that's it that's the uh, end of end of that one not the best start but not you know the end of the world shall we say um, I mean we've, I've not uh, yeah Yeah, maybe a few few different changes caught me and a few more fish but for his first go on there for over a year and a half since last year got cancelled um, due to Covid and what have you it's first time I've been up there and fish for them skimmers and what have you since last year last year were a disaster weren't it got cancelled and everything so oh god excuse me right that's it I hope you enjoyed it anyway um, we're doing them all the matches through the Christmas period and what have you so there'll be plenty to go on and have, have a watch through uh, through then and there's a few best of videos out at the moment there's a best of UK champs I put all them videos together for you um, I'm gonna do an older one with the UK champs and, and then I'm gonna do a golden rod as well where you see me qualify and then to the final but that'll be a full video so there's a few best of bag up TVs over the winter that you can watch as well I know they're not brand new, but I just thought, oh, it's nice to have them all together and watch them all after one another, so that'd be nice to uh, watch over the Christmas period. Right, I'm going to get home. I think Sunday lunch is for tea. Nice uh, bit of pork and Yorkshire puddings, all that stuff, that'll warm me up. And I think next time, I'm definitely bringing me flask with some soup or something, because it's getting bloody cold. Right. That's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, big up all the members. Uh, massive thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. Your name's on the screen now. And um, if you want to become a member, hit that join button. Massive thanks to all the members. And everyone that's subscribed, we've hit 10,000 subscribers. So massive thanks. On the last video I said, please subscribe. I want to try and hit 10,000 before Christmas. And we've done it. 
10,000 subscribers. We're nearly at 3 million views as well. So I'm really super excited about that. Thanks to everybody out there that's watched the videos and subscribed. It's massive help and uh, I really do appreciate it. So thanks very much. Right, that's it. Merchandise all available for Christmas. If you want to order merch, hit me up at baguptv at gmail.com. And that is it, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Keep on bagging. Good luck, good luck, Monkey. Good luck, Dave. Right, see you later. Yeah. Fire alarm's going off, and Alan won't move because he's eating his breakfast. Good morning, fisher people. I'm Alan Noyes from Fish on TV, and this is David Wood from Bag Up TV. Good morning, Dave. West Side. <laughs> right. I'm in gangster mode today. We're taking no prisoners, Alan. No, no after prisoners. After last week. Last week. We didn't do great. I think we're about 26 Six. in the league, are we? Like that. Yeah, I think so, yeah. With £10, 8 ounce. Mm. Terrible. <laughs> oh, by the way. Sorry, stupid monkey. Are you alright there, monkey? I don't like him. I don't like him neither. Right, go on. <laughs> I've got my anger issue out of way for the... Yeah, alright, Be monkey. People love me bashing on the monkey, didn't they? Sounds a bit rude, that, though, Dave. Well... <laughs> Let's not talk rudeness, Alan. This is a family show, isn't it? Right, I've just done the draw. I don't think I've drawn brilliant, but we've just had a look at results. It might, we might be okay. I've drawn 44 moat, so went back in my face again over there. And Dave has drawn bridge 40, and James Dent did all right there, didn't he? It's about 12 pounds, I believe. Yeah, something like that, weren't it? So, we're not at the end of the world, Alan. I'm looking. I didn't, yeah. I didn't matter where I got drawn, I still think that we can catch a few fish and yeah. what have you, so yeah. I do think that will be alright. I just We just need to get £10 each That's and, the we, and we need to move up, so yeah. if we can get that. Yeah. Well, busy. Someone well, ringing busy. me already. Oh, it's, kids. It's the kids. <laughs> My mum's looking after kids for the morning because uh, I'll, just, I'll, let me, I'll just tell her I'll ring her back. Oh, we're alright folks. Hello? <laughs> <coughs> right, to, uh, let's let Alan sort his camera out. I do apologise for that. I, uh, my mum's just looking after kids and, and Grace is a bit uh, funny at morning when I leave, so it's uh, it's all fun and games. So sorry about that, Alan, but you're gonna have no to problems, cut, yeah. you're gonna have to cut that video off. Uh, restart it from where I got the phone call. Edley will really edit it out. You won't, you are Edley. You know what he's like. He'll put it in. Edley, you can send him as many messages as you want, Edley. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, yeah, sorry about that. So, um, what, were we, what were we talking about, Alan? I've lost where, it, me now. Where are those pegs for? You've drawn 40 on bridge, I've drawn 44 on moat. We've just looked at the results from last week. Well, I know it's different from day to day. I didn't think it would have been a good draw to start with, but they've caught sort of 10, 11 pound, mm. haven't they? In those areas, In aren't those they? In those areas, so... 
you know, that's our target, ten pounds. We'd be yeah. happy with that. Ten pound or more would be an absolute bonus, wouldn't it? Mm. We've had a little talk, we've changed a few little things. Um talk I haven't been able to get a a a, a, a talk in edgeways. What what's that? What's that saying? A word in edgeways when I'm on for a trial, I'm like Right, well, you want to you try and do, like that on phone. I can't can't get uh, can't get in without him giving it large out phone. I know what I'm doing, David, the mightiest. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? You were doing it. <laughs> God's sake. So, uh, but now, we, yeah, we've we've sorted it out a bit. Um, hopefully, anyway, hopefully. we'll see we'll see if we can put it into practice. Yeah. Didn't you want to say thank, well done to your mate who qualified or something? Oh yeah, um, is it Gavin McCauley? I've forgot, I've forgotten his first name. <laughs> one uh, of, yes, one of the um, one of our viewers, uh, Jeff McCauley, is uh, subscribed to my channel and Davy's channel, yeah. and he's made my day a little bit. And I told Dave, he goes, "Well, that's brilliant because it's not just about me and Dave fishing and how well we do. It's about getting people involved." And um, this guy, Jeff McCauley, is not fished for a few years. And on the strength of Minor Day's videos, he's entered a few bigger matches and he's qualified for the Golden Rod. So, what a mighty fisherman! Well done, son. Yeah, well, that's, well what done. It, that's what it's all about, mate, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's I'm made up for that. That's brilliant. If, if, he, I remember he, him collaring, collaring me at Barston and uh, saying he, he watches our channel and this and yeah. that. And where's Alan? Where's Alan? I said, Oh, Alan, isn't he? I'm not his bloody boyfriend. We don't hang about <laughs> together. So, I don't know what people think just because I know, yeah, that we hang about 24 7 together, don't we? <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to say as well that he goes, Oh, do a video for my wife. And I'm like, It's a birthday. So, I did this little video for his wife and stuff. And he's like, Oh, she'll be happy with that. I'll get some tonight. So, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I've no idea what's going off there, but uh, you know, if you want me to, if you want to give me your wife's number, I mean, that's absolutely fine. I Just don't ignore mind. him, Jeff. Ignore <laughs> him. <laughs> He's a clown. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, well, all seriously, well done, mate. Yeah, and um, it's it's it is nice in it for yeah, us when yeah, it when we get them compliments. So yeah, yeah, thanks very much. And thanks to everybody that subscribed and watched these videos. Up, you enjoy them. Oh, by the so, way, yeah, uh, 10k, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Subscribers, well done, Dave. Yeah, thanks very much. We're very on good. the way now, so it's all good, all yeah. good, mate. Let's get cracking. We right. need to get going. We do. Get his heads in the. Uh... It'll be down today. I'm catching a few today, Dave. That's me. Right, good lad. We're up for it. Right, let's smash it up. Good luck. We'll see, we'll you, see you on the bank. On the bank. <laughs> <laughs> Right, here we are, peg 40 on bridge. Uh, like Alan said, I think he's drawn, what did he say? 45 on moat or something? Can't remember. But uh, anyway, I know I'm on 40 on bridge. There you go. Um, this is what we've got today. Pinkies, maggies, uh, dead pinkies, a few micras, and then woodworm. ground bait behind me, a few uplimps and what have you, and then a few feeders um, to choose from, old school that, camas and old school feeder, so that's my gear behind me, uh, we've got this rod set up, that's the uh, reactor core midder and that's the cortex one for the big chuck. Um, two rod approach. I've got three rods up just in case one cracks off. But uh, we're not going to do anything silly this week. The wind's blowing towards us, so I don't know if that's a good thing or not. It is about eight degrees, so it's a bit. It feels warmer than last time, but I think it's because of that breeze. Got Brian Sullivan next door, the feeder master himself. Um, so I think 
they were Lee Kerry in that one next door and James Dent in this peg and they, they had about 10 to 12 pound each I think James Dent might have done better but he's he's awesome fisherman so we're gonna give it a go we'll see what happens we're just we're just hoping for 10 pound a piece me and the mightiest and hopefully we'll get a few of them bigger bream and hopefully have a decent day's fishing so I've got to um, We've made a few changes, so hopefully it'll work this time and we'll, we'll go from there, but you never know, it could be absolutely crap this time. But that's the plan anyway. Um, we're hoping, like I said, for £10 a piece. Get us up that leaderboard. Um, what can you do? Let's see how it goes. It's uh, it's bloody freezing. Well, it's not that bad, actually. What am I talking about? It's it's all right. It's, it's warmer than last time, so, yeah. Let's uh, let's have some today. We'll see how it goes. Right, we're starting at ten, I think, today. So far from the off. Put a few feeder fulls in. Short and uh, there we go. I think.
leave the mask on. You want me? Loads of rain and stuff on that. Right, so we're about halfway through. I've had, I've had to change a few tactics and uh, I've got two carp and a, and a, well, a bremish. It's black about a pound and a half, I think. Brian next door, he's got two carp and a little skimmer. Lad next door to me, he's got uh, three skimmers, I think. But I've had a chat with the mightiest and he's got three roach and a little perch and he says it's rock hard on on moat so it might be one of them days it's uh, might be hard work until the last uh, couple of hours well we're halfway through now anyway so there's not much that time left two and a half hours left um yeah it's uh, it's hard work but brian next door he caught two carp early on i thought right i'll change my tactics and try and catch a few carp because we weren't getting anything on me on my short line so i've gone out there got two carp and a skimmer and a bream so it's going all right at the minute we just have to carry on it's uh, at least it stopped raining which were a nice uh, nice pff, nice 10 minutes when it to absolutely came it down but that's it that's where we're fishing we're chucking over there into them uh, there's two trees there brian can't chuck there so I'll, He's got to chuck up that side, so I'm last one on tree, so I can chuck to the tree. Um, and that is it, really. We're just hoping the mightiest has a few fish, catches a few. But there ain't much happening, I'm afraid. So we'll crack on. See if we can get a few more. I ain't seen many people catch out over there either, but it is what it is. Let's crack on and see if we can uh, catch a few more fish. Another carp. Hang up, Mr. Swansea.
still feeling them all that much. Look at that rainbow shining on Brian down there. No wonder he's caught loads of fish, is it? Well, last hour now, and it's not gone great. I've got uh, three carp and a, and a skimmer, pound and a half. Lad next door, he's just had another skimmer. I think he's beating me and Brian. Um, but I still have two carp and two skimmers, I think. So it's going to be quite tight down here. I don't think the mightiest has caught much, but last hour. Let's see if we can get a few more and uh, we'll see what happens at the end. Sorry, mate. Alright. Try not to get me tangled up when you're Pal. <sighs> Tangled rat feeder, I think. Eh? Tangled rat feeder. I'm going to have to cut your up length off. How are you going to do this? Shall I just drop it down? Cheers mate, sorry about that.
Not a night. Well, a bit tangled with the guy next door, but uh, they were nice enough and just let me uh, play the fish, so that was all right. Them blooming carp are a nightmare, aren't they? I'm hoping it's a skimmer. Thank you.
Patreon. Can't be, Dave. Yeah. Well, when Brian had to, I thought, right, that's it, fuck it. You still get skimmers on it anyway, don't you? You can't afford to lose them when, you, when there's no being caught, can you? Too much. I only put my small one on. I didn't think I was going to catch in there. Fished here two weeks ago, in team before. Yeah? I fished here two weeks ago, in team before. Yeah. I don't peg above, peg 41. And Miles is, Pete Miles, the next one down, where that tree is below you. And he had 18 carp on Pete, did. Fishing for, fishing for skimming. Fucking loads of them here. He's ended up with eight carp that has got out. Oh. And I've got five out. I think they're good. He's just lucky with them. Oh, yeah. You enjoyed it? Yeah, it's been brilliant. <laughs> Big tail. 
Yeah, he's looking at getting back on again, him. Yeah, he's going to have a little fucking last feast, uh, isn't he? Oh, mate. Five, oh, got four or five, I think. He's wide on, brother. Start Paddy. Look out, not there. Look out, Right, well, we're in the van. Let's just the mighty sorting his tackle out again. Nice foot indicator on. It's whacking its sin against bloody thing. It looks pitch black on here. Yeah, it does, eh? Doesn't it? Yeah. Do your windscreen so it's. It's inside. Oh, yeah, of course it is. It's inside. Well, you've had it, haven't we? Well, we'll try. We'll try. We'll try and do it. You never know. We'll try. See what happens. So, um. We're all weighed in anyway, aren't we? Yes, we're all weighed in. We <laughs> thought we'd do the video together, but I think it's going to be too dark for it next time, mate. I think we're going to have to just uh, yeah. leave it, aren't we? But uh, I've had a decent day. Um, I've I've weighed in eight pound eight, I think it were, and I've caught five carp, two two skimmers, well, two bream. They were black, but they were only small ones. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I've had. So, uh, I've done all right. What? Twelve fish, yeah. two pound eight. Well, it was better than half time when you rang me when you only had three. <laughs> Didn't have a bite for an hour and 15 minutes. Not one at all, not one bite. So what does that put us on? Eight, nine, ten, about 11 pounds, doesn't it? Yeah, it's still semi-skimmed though, isn't it? I mean, guy to my right, I think I was telling, telling Dave before, and big guy to my right, there was a guy next to him. Had a oh, right, well. It's the uh, next day, as you can tell, because it was too dark in the car and my blooming camera stopped working when I was talking to the mightiest in his car. So I don't know if he'll put that on or not. Well, let's see if we can get out of here. Yeah, it looks all right. Yeah, so a bit dark. My camera stopped working, so I'm sure Alan uh, will have got the rest of that, but you know, I'll have to cut mine into this bit. Um, I can't remember where we were, but I had uh, I had a decent day to be honest, and I drew peg 40 on bridge, which is a nice area. Um, you got to the corner of the island because Brian can't. Brian next door could cast there. He had to cast further up, and that's that's what you get when you draw that peg. Um, so it's like a, a written rule that he can't cast the island in its mind, sort of thing. But um, for the first. <coughs> Excuse me, for the first hour It was terrible I'd not had a bite, not had a fish My plan didn't work, what I thought they were gonna um, God, it's cold today And it just weren't working, so uh, Brian next door had two carts He said, I'm getting liners all the time I thought, blimey neck, well, the cart must be here Sort of thing So, I decided to well, I already had my other rod out and I thought, right, I'll put a big hook on it, uh, put three or four maggots on, casted it out with some micros and what have you, and uh, I thought, I'm going to have to catch a carp here. Anyway, I got a carp when it was absolutely caning it down with rain, and then and then I got a bream on it, and I thought, a pound, about a pound and a half bream, I thought, all oh, right, this is all right then. Um, and then it went dead, I picked up another carp, um, Called the mightiest at half time, he'd only had a couple of roach and I'd, I'd had two carp and a, and a skimmer bream. Um, and I thought, so I come back on my original plan, I thought, right, I'll pick some skimmers up now. I just couldn't get a bite, could not get a bite. The lad next door, uh, Sykes, Neil Sykes, something like that, can't remember his name, but he was really patient and he was just waiting and waiting and waiting. And then when he got a bite, he went round and it were a big, big, big skimmer. And I thought, what's he fishing on? I couldn't really tell what he was fishing on. Um, but I persevered, persevered with it. Couldn't get anything. I couldn't get anything on my short line, skimmer wise. So I thought, right, I'm gonna sit out for carp. And I sat out for carp, and I ended up getting five carp and two skimmers, two bream. My bream went about three pounds seven altogether. Two bream, three pounds seven, and I had five carp for five pounds. So I weighed in eight pounds seven altogether. And I thought, if the mightiest can have five or six pounds, we'll be all right. 
we'd have moved up quite nicely. Anyway, Alan struggled. He ended up having two pound. Um, he said it was rock hard, and he, he ended up catching some small roach and what have you, and he couldn't get out. Couldn't get out decent. He said it were terrible, and I think Mick Vowles won that section with seven pounds. So we weren't too far off, but we just needed a bit more out out of that out of Allen today. I think six pound, seven pound would have been all right. But I tell you what, it's not. It's hard work, and it's not what people think that. You know, I mean. Uh, Mick Viles, in England International having seven pound, you know what I mean? And I think who else? There were James Dent, he had six pound and stuff like that. So it's not hard, it's not easy, shall I say. It's hard work, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, on the day, I think Frankie and Steve Ringer won the day with 27 pounds all together. And, and then I think there were Neil Swanock, he had 17 pound on his own, so well done, Neil. Um, I think they come second, Neil Swanock and Lee Coop, I think it were. I can't remember who come third, but I will put the results up. Lee Kerry's very good with the results. I'll put them up for you now. So that's it. We've moved up a little bit. We're, I think we're about 24th, 24th, somewhere around there. We've moved up a little bit, but we just needed a bit more just to keep us, get us, keep going up. The only way is up, as my mate Mark O'Neill would say. The only way is up. Come on, Mark. Give us some luck, mate. We need a bit of luck. So that's it. On to the next one. The next one's just before Christmas, so I'll see the mightiest there. And I think we're going to try and do a, a versus challenge for the Christmas special. So that'll be something nice to do. Me and the mightiest. Um, we're going to try and do it anyway. See what we, we both can get off and, and sort out. So... That'll be nice, and uh, he needs to get rid of that monkey and get a proper um, mascot done for his car and give us some bloody luck because uh, it's not not good at the moment. But let's try and move up that leaderboard. Uh, it, not, it would be nice if we could get inside the top 15 before Christmas. That put us in good steads for next year. Then going into next year, I think there's about six. Be about five matches left on that winter pair so <clears throat> it, uh, it should be a good deal so the next one's in a couple of weeks looking forward to that well done to all the framers <clears throat> thanks for watching if anybody wants to be my partner message below <laughs> because if if alan don't pull his finger out for the next one i'll tell you what he'll be out so a message below if you would if you'd like to partner up with me for the next winter pairs uh, <laughs> because he'll be out anyway that's it thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this one big up all the members thanks to all the members that have joined just recently and uh, there's loads and loads of videos on there for members only and uh, that's it give us a thumbs up subscribe up to the channel it means a lot and we'll see you soon Keep on bagging. Mash it up. Good luck. We'll see, see you on the bank. On the bank. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, on a tough day. That is a clonker today. Look at that, folks. Right, good morning, fishy people. I'm Alan Norris from Fish on TV, and this is David Wood from Bag Up TV. Good morning, Al. Good morning. What are the eggs all over your bedroom this morning? Eggs? Eggs. What does that mean? I just thought you'd have a laid, that's all. We'd be late. No. <laughs> well, no. Is that laughing at your joke, Alan? Eh? 
He always makes me get mardy at morning, doesn't he, does Alan? Your, your brother-in-law will be having a having a, a field day with me. No. It's Christmas time, we're not marder. I'm looking after Monkey today. Give me these, he'd Dave to put on. But he can't smash these up, because there is. Yes, well, today we're going to have some... I'm not, I'm not going to touch the monkey <laughs> this morning, so... <laughs> we're uh, we're all right, we'll leave him be. Let's, yeah. uh, let's have a bit of luck today, because... Yes. Last week, we're 25th in the league. Fourth. 24th? Oh, right. Alan, sorry, one we're place. We're oh, oh. 24th. Uh, we're moving up slightly, but we just need a little bit better today. But you've already drawn, haven't you? Already drawn. I've drawn Moat 66. Not liking that area. And you've drawn Bridge. <laughs> Again, we can't get it. 37. 37, it? similar Which, spot to last time, isn't it? Yeah, it's only like three pegs away, isn't it? Yeah. So, so a good eight or ten pound there, Dave, like last time. Bang on. Yeah. On the money. All right, fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. Uh, well, uh, thanks to everybody who watches these videos. And uh, we, we do read every comment, don't we? We do. Um, and try and get back to you. So a massive thanks if you've commented on the video. And uh, we just want to wish you from me and Alan and this idiot here okay. a, a, a very merry christmas very merry we? christmas people and uh, we hope we've got a mince pie for you as well there for the oh, old uh, top job dave you know so you won't you won't be catching much so you might as well have a mince pie uh, there you go al thank you very much uh, so mince pie for you and there, folks witness <laughs> dave wood is sharing his snap <laughs> yeah I, I am quite i am quite generous sometimes but uh, you know not when alan nicks me nicks me start but we've also got a very nice little competition for you haven't we yeah bye. which um is a signed hat by lee Kerry and mick viles england internationals um and me and alan are going to sign it as well if you want us to but by the way you know it'll uh, be a yes that <laughs> yeah i'll sign it you know <laughs> alan, we'll leave alan off it you know <laughs> um so yeah well this is something what we're going to give away um so if you want to win this, uh, signed by me, Alan, Lee Kerry, and Mick Viles. Uh, so thanks very much for doing that, uh, Lee Kerry and Mick Viles. And uh, if you want to win it, just comment on this video below. Uh, what do you want? What do they want to comment with? Oh, I don't know. I might as well sign this now, Anna, because yeah. uh, I'll sign it on the bottom. Should we just say? It's just a comment. We'll make a list of names and it gets drawn out. It's just a comment, isn't it? Comment and share. What about that one? That'd be all right, wouldn't it? Share the videos. Yeah, just comment, share the video, and... Uh, nice one. And then we'll pick a winner out next time. Alan, if you'd like to put your signature just there... I don't know to sign. Uh, Do I sign Alan Norrish or the mightiest? Well, whatever you want to I do. I will whatever. sign Alan Norrish. I'd prefer the mightiest on my, on my thing, but... Uh, um, I'll I'll trace that, take that home, put it on my check. Got he's, got, he's got more money than me, Alan. Uh, oh, alive. God's sake. Yeah. Right, so, what we'll do is, if you just comment below, uh, I don't know, whatever you want to do, Merry Christmas or Alan's the mightiest fisherman of them all. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> make sure it does say that. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll pick a winner next week, won't well, we? Because well, we yeah. do read all the comments, so thanks very much. Merry Christmas to you all. Alan, today... Let's smash it up, son. We need to do it, don't we? I need a better day today. God, he's on one today. On one today. He's on we one today. He's been watching boxing last night. So. <laughs> yeah. Right, good luck. And uh, would you like to add anything else? Are we finished? No. Just get stuck in today, Dave. We'll do his best. And like he says, everybody, wish you all a very Merry Christmas. And we hope we're going to finish on a high, Dave, today. Correct. Correct. Let's get do going. His best. Right. See you soon. West side. <laughs> <laughs>
Right, here we are, all cross fisheries for the feeder masters. Um, I've drawn peg 37, which is the next peg for where we were last week, which is there, and this time on this side. So this is where Brian Sullivan were, and I think he had about three pounds. So, it's not the best of areas, but we'll give it a go. We're, in fact, we're about three minutes from the off, so I need to get down here. Uh, my tackle's all set up, look. Snack attacks back people. Banana. Two donuts look. And then a nice chocolate pastry as well. Look at this. If you like pastries or not. A few waters. Not on the soup yet. It's not that like cold. Most importantly, let's get me snap in my bag. Right, this is what I'm fishing. That's my bait tray. That's my nice dark ground bait. Special G dark. A bit of fish meal in there. And then I've got some for the carp. Small feeders. And there are my rods. Reactor core and the uh, midi cortex and the parabolics. That's all we're fishing. So, like I said, we're about two minutes from off. We've not done drawn great again, but let's see how we get on. Oh, and remember, carp only count as a pound because last week I had about five, and someone like, God's sake, Dave. Why can they only count as a pound? But they do. So that's it. Right, we're going to crack on and. Uh, See how we get on. Hopefully, uh, have a few fish. We're off. Get some bait in. Right, I'm going to do this, bait up a few lines, and then we'll see where we go from here.
out, it's not doing very good. So it's chocolate croissant time. Mm. These are great. One skimmer at the minute. And Nosha has had one cart. So not the greatest start in the world. But we'll keep going, see what happens. That's it, job done. Uh, 9.14 Stands up down isn't it? Well, yeah we've had me to move me by the next three pegs One in pal Is that thank you? Six pound twelve Total dog Two Two ten Cheers Alan, just finished off my donut You can talk by the way Tell us how your day went and I'm just eating my donut. I had no, had no breakfast this morning. Well, I'm not one for gloating, folks, but I am the mightiest. <laughs> no, to be fair, we spoke about the last time we came. Dave gave me the tactics that he think might work. And we're not going to go into details too much. I mean, having said that, we're not going to too much weight because we're not doing great, but we've got a little plan and it's worked okay for me. Um, I've ended up with four carp. Set off for, for carp to start with while I've waited for my blood worm and joker lines to take off. And I've ended up with 20 odd silvers, four carp for £10.10. .10. How's your day gone, David? Well, that donut were nice. Lovely. A custard, custard donut, not jam. <laughs> I do like a custard donut. Did you eat your mince pie? No, what? That's next. I think I, think I left it in van. Oh God. Um, I've had a terrible day, Alan. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Tackles for sale. <laughs> ding 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 ding. <laughs> On eBay. Um, I've drawn that peg where you can't chuck to the point. You can't do what. All you've got to do is fish in front of you, and you can only chuck like, yeah. um, like. 35 meters out and then you've got to have a short line you can't really do it i know you've got this side where you could go up the banking but yeah. it's winter time they ain't going to be out up there no one fishes on that side yeah, yeah. so anyway enough excuses i've I, they're just i've i tried fishing best i can and they well, just weren't there two pound ten i've had i've had a ten. i had a skimmer a perch and then and then at the end I started getting a couple of bites and I thought oh here we go and I got about a pound in last last hour so and that's what you could have done with that from off that really. that could have been yeah if that if that had been up from off and I had seven or eight pounds because yeah. they would they'd just turned up so I think they just turned up a bit late but it is winter fishing and the mightiest has done it today well done son uh, it's the first time that he's uh, <laughs> Cheers, mate. Uh, you know, that's fishing at the end of the day, isn't it? It you is. Know? Um, it's just how it is. 
people were saying last time on the video, get a new partner, Dave. You need to get the mightiest up you there. You doubters, you. Yeah, yeah. he's there. <laughs> well, he's on top. He's on form. And I've got to say, the car. I asked Lee. I said, how big do you think that is? <coughs> I thought between 12 and 15 he went well that one's definitely around about the 18 mark it Bloody only just hell. fit in the net oh, so I reckon I've had about 55 pound a cap today with four fish well, you've done well haven't you that's unbelievable I um, had oh, yeah, that work then hasn't it that yeah having a yeah well not so too our much, tactic but, <laughs> but it's worked hasn't it and just to get a few carp and, yeah, it, you know it, what I mean it, just it puts bumps a few, up your weight doesn't yeah, it, it puts a few if, I, if I'd have been able to chuck to far bank like everyone else were doing, I'd have had two or three carp, and, then that and that's it. But, but I hadn't had that far bank to chuck to. Yeah. I can't, I can't go three quarters. You know what I mean? It's, it's in that bay. So that's, that's where it's done me. Yeah. If, I'd, if I'd have caught them carp, I'd have had five or six. You pound. feel limited, don't you, straight away? Yeah. You know, there's like a bit of negativity in your peg, isn't there? Yeah. Away. So that's, it. It's peed me off a little bit, but. Well done, Alan. You've done him today, son. All you doubters, get in there, son. <laughs> get Go in. on, Al. We will just tell, because some of you people, you were mentioning that yeah. people said, how come you've only got eight pound eight when yeah, you're yeah, all yeah. A carp, no matter how big it is, is only worth one pound in this in this feeder. That's because it's basically silvers. So what they're saying is, if you catch a carp, we'll let you have it, but it only classes a pound. Yeah. So, just to straighten a few of things. But catching a couple of them is you think building up his weight in it so yeah. I think there's something to be looked at in it anyway I mean, anyway, I, mean after, I mean after what I mean Steve Ringer was four or five pegs up from me and after watching I mean Steve were very close to that peg I fished today I think he had 13 last week into 13 pound he doesn't have get to know a place he's fished tremendous today he's had just just over 18 pound all fish between two and six ounce what a mighty fisherman he is isn't he what yeah. a mighty fisherman you are, Lovely. Steve Ringer. Well done, son. <laughs> yeah, well done. He's class, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> He's not bad, is he? No. Um, but I don't know where we'll be in the league. I mean, what what, what weight have we got? What did you have? Ten pound, what? Ten ten. And I've got two ten. So that's a good weight, that Alan. I said uh, ten pound at the start, didn't we? Thir Thirteen pound had we've got today, haven't we? Yeah. Better than last week, we're going up. Yeah. The only, the only way, way is up. up. <laughs> <laughs> My Mark mate, O'Neill. Mark O'Neill special, double yeah. breakfast. God rest his soul, Mark yeah, O'Neill. We miss him, don't we? Yeah. We yeah. do. Um, but that's it, yeah. Just to finish off, if you want to win the hat, I think this is it. No, it ain't. That's no. a crap one. That's the winning ways one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we don't we want go. that. Here we go. If you want to win the hat signed by Lee Kerry, uh, Mick Viles. Mick Viles the mightiest fisherman of them all today <laughs> and me two pound tenner uh then you can uh, just comment below what what are they commenting just merry christmas and it doesn't matter does it you just, just comment, comment below get your, get your name down there just tell me how mighty i am and how crappy he is today brilliant great thanks for that lads <laughs> and uh next week on the what we'll do is we'll just go on as comments and we'll just pick a random winner out yeah um that's all we can do, innit? Yeah. So comment on both videos and uh, we'll pick a winner and we'll get it sent out to you for, Brilliant. well, just after Christmas it'll be, won't it? Al? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're hoping, we're hoping to do a Christmas, well, New Year special because we haven't well, managed to get together. We're, no, we're going to try and get together, aren't we, during, in between Christmas? It's been busy, hasn't it? Really yeah. busy. And yeah. We just haven't had time, but we're going to try and do a New Year special. Um, Always good fun, Dave, aren't they? Yeah, but hey. He's on form now, isn't he? But the five times might be gone. <laughs> Bloody hell. That'll be a New Year special, oh, won't it? Oh, God. It'd be just about my Christmas, that, wouldn't it? Well, uh, I hope you've enjoyed these videos as much as us, even though I didn't catch much today, but the Mightiest has absolutely slaughtered it. And uh, give us a like, thumbs up, you know. You love all this stuff, don't Come you? On, monkey. Uh, subscribe up to the channels and... Um, Anything else, Alan? Click the notification bell and you will get all our videos as we upload them. I Don't knew we get that one, Dave. I knew we'd have something to say. Um, that's that's his t-shirts. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, his t-shirts. All available. I haven't got any yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Alan will get some. Yeah. But that's it. I, I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I hope you too as well, mate. It's all been best, a pleasure. Mate. Even though uh, there, were, there were one comment on what, what, what someone said and he said, even though you're not very good, even you're fishing with your mate, which makes it all better. It which, does. which, it don't make it better because he ain't my bloody mate. So, we'll leave like it there. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, anyway. Merry Al. Christmas, and don't forget. 
keep on bagging. And fish what? on. Yes! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Dave. Everybody, wish you all a very Merry Christmas and we hope we're going to finish on a high day today. Right, correct, let's get going. Best. Right. See you soon. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> from Fish on TV and this is David Wood from Bag Up TV and a very happy new year to you lovely fisher people. Happy new year Dave. Happy new year mate. You always get best. to do the intro don't you? Yeah eh? I can't wait though. You're always so hyped up in the morning it's unbelievable. <laughs> You've got to be. Happy new year monkey. Yeah happy new year. Happy new year okay. Dave. Right. Uh, no, I'm not going to be grumpy, it's a new year. Oh, <laughs> change man, new year's resolution is that David Wood is not going to be grumpy. That'll laugh today. No, I'll just be even more grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, we are currently 23rd in the league, aren't we, from last week? We are. Uh, I had a shocker, but we're not going to talk about that. It's a new year, new exactly. start. Nope. We're going to the top, aren't we? Yeah. Don't care about anybody in the league, we're moving up big time. Who's in that league? Yeah. Who's in that league? Nobody, nobody knows, do we? So, um, but we had a bit of a thing that we we're gonna give away a hat, so a big thank you to everybody that's commenting on these videos. We have over 340 comments on mine and 200 on yours, is 240 it? 240 on mine, yeah. Yeah, oh, absolutely fantastic. Brilliant. So, massive thanks to everybody that's commented. And we have read every one. Yeah, every com We read them all, so massive thank you to everybody out there that's commented. And uh, we, we do try and get back to each other, yeah. uh, uh, to each of the all. comments. Yeah. So, But today, to win the hat, we thought we'd spice it up a little bit and... Tomorrow. I'm going to pick someone randomly out of my comments. So I've picked David Hodgson, um, and he's put on, he's commented and put great video again. Love the banter between you guys. Have a great Christmas and hopefully a lucky New Year in the draw bag. So I'm fishing for David Hodgson, and what we're going to do is, I've picked the person. We're going to fish. I'm going to fish for him. You're going to pick somebody who's commented, and you're going to fish for I've them, looked, aren't you? I've looked through them all. Some fantastic comments. <clears throat> There's one, I've got to, I had to pick him, I just thought, he never misses a video, and I know there's lots of you don't miss a video, but he writes me some right essays, and some of them are very funny, some of them you can nod off. But, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Graham Nash, but you know who you are. Really appreciate everybody's support, and I've decided to pick Graham Nash on that one. It was very difficult, because there's some fantastic comments oh. in there. So, Graham Nash, I'm fishing for you today, sunshine. Yeah, so we're gonna fish for 
the people that we've picked and whoever wins between me and Norrish in the weight wise gets to win the hat Ta -da. so we thought we'd do it like that because we can't just pick someone off my comments and then someone off yours can yeah, we it's no, a bit no. so we thought we'd do it this way i'll pick a person to fish for you pick a person person to fish for and the winner of the weight will win the hat yeah. so i'm fishing for... and it's not in the bag don't be thinking it's in the bag yeah do, no no he's talking he, to his camera now yeah <laughs> he pulled it out last week didn't he anyway i don't care i'm having no. it today alan um we've drawn haven't we by the way we have he wanted to draw but i muscled in by the way this is the smallest flask i have ever seen uh, only... that is not very mighty is no, it people hold on a minute only Look, in your hands one that... one sip that'd be down it looks tiny in, in his hands and looks massive in my hands mm. <laughs> Are you calling me fat again no, at New I'm Year? No, no, no. Every time, You've just got Alan. got big hands, Dave. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> so where have we drawn? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, where have we drawn? Uh, that's a you good forgot, thing. You forgot, not you? I've drawn, oh, believe it, Moat again. Peg 100. I'm not I, don't, I don't mind it. it you're on your own. You've got plenty to fish for. Fish, mm. fish for carp and, and fish for skimmers. Easy I've been on. told it's carp, but I've had a look at some results. The guy fished for just carp. Good job his partner actually won the day. He had three carp and two roach. So apparently there's not a lot of skimmers around there. Let's just hope that a few carp are feeding. But that's my tactics. It'll be pretty much the same as last time. Have a look for carp, maybe a little bit longer and try for a few skimmers later. I have drawn Dave, a lovely peg. 22 on bridge i can't get away from these pegs you've drawn me 24 on bridge 37 on bridge 40 on mm -hmm. bridge yeah 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 rubbish 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 well not well not bad are they no um I think you're all right. the I, last one i had you, was rubbish i didn't that, like that, that, 37. that crap but 22 bridge i know i know that's half decent there isn't it i think i think god put pressure on me alan no, isn't I, it? But having said that, it's it's winter, you just never know. There's definitely going to be a few carp there, I think. I, I, I think I it's think, on the corner. Yeah, it? I think you can chuck to Ireland and you've yeah. got a short line. So yeah. it's not it's not a bad, is it? It's not end of world. So. And there's some nice bream in there. I yeah. Think. And some nice quality yeah. skimmers in there. So mm. I think you've a chance there, Dave. Yeah, well, not too bad. Not too bad. So I'll shall we say, shall, shall we say what we say every week? What's that? We want £10 a piece. At least. Yeah, we do need £10 a piece, don't we? Yeah. But, I'm chomping a bit now. Fish for a week. No, oh, I've, I've had a bad one at Lindon, but we'll say no more. This is a new year, new new start, and uh, I'm going for it. No, let's not dwell on it. But he's told me about it. <clears> he's <throat> had a proper stinker. <laughs> <laughs> let's not bring it up again, Alan. No, no, we won't. But you got it all wrong, didn't you? Yeah. So, <laughs> God, say we're going before you get it brings me down even more. I'll be no, smashing I'm, monkey up in a minute. No, God, no, don't be saying that, Dave. <laughs> God no, shit. no, we want you to, you'll be on form today. Thank you, Alan. It's a bit a, of confidence it's, from him. It's a, different, it's a different match today. It's right up your street. It's feeder fishing. Uh, what, easy fishing? It's not easy fishing. Hey, by the way, it is not easy fishing, folks, this. We're up against some good anglers and all crofters. It's a bit of a nemesis for us, isn't it? We've, we've, not, we've not really got on with all No, all it's, it's UK champs at all crofting, it? It does yeah. my head in. But yeah. anyway, let's stop waffling on because you know Alan can talk for England. So, if you uh, want a quiet day, come with me. If you want to uh, the yatta 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 from Alan, go I'll with Alan. I'll be concentrating, <laughs> folks. Don't you worry about that. You... Right, I've watched his videos. <laughs> Hard and in and in it, yapping all the way, then putting his bait on. And, oh, I'll just, uh, oh, I'll just have a coffee. Oh, I'll just do this. Oh, I'll just do that. <laughs> Get <laughs> fishing. <laughs> <laughs> right, good luck. Good luck. See you on See the you bank. See you on the bank, folks. <laughs> <laughs>
right here we are on the bank drawn peg 22 on bridge we've been here before haven't we ladies and gents sun directly in his face um we're all set up two rods i've got a spare one here just in case i need uh, a searching rod or something like that but we're all tackled down two nets in one for cart one for skimmers we've got as bait maggots pinkies budworm joker a few pellets and a few micras got to use fishery pellets here a few different feeders that's an old school one isn't it um get that one nice small one and then snack attack snickers bottle of black current and we've got his ground bait doing there so 15 minutes from the off looks nice doesn't it should have a few fish today got to have a few fish today um so hopefully i'm fishing for my uh my man on the uh, hat situation so hopefully fingers crossed i can get it one for you and uh, we'll have a nice day we've got to have 10 pound today i'm hoping that we have 10 pound today if, I st if it starts going all pear shape then i'll be gutted again but we should it's warmed up temperatures are going to be up to about 13 degrees something like that so it's going to be quite warmish I'm just hoping that we're going to have a few. Um, Doug, Doug Jackson drew that peg last week or two weeks ago. Um, who else we got? Matt Benwell. I think Steve Ring is up that way as well. So tough section again, but we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, and Nosh has drawn 100 on moat, as we said. Um, should be a few carp knocking about out there but he's fished on he fished on moat all the time i've fished on bridge so he should know what he's doing by now and hopefully he'll have a few so fingers crossed for a great day and uh, we'll catch you in a bit that's it we're on
I won't call it a pound. I call it ten ounce. See if we can get another one of them. Be nice. Hey? Oh, I went and went again, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right, it's not going well. We've got We've, well, we're in two hours now. Uh, I've had a quick go for carp for the first uh, hour or so. Nothing on that, one liner. Uh, then I've changed, put a bream line in at three quarters, and I've had a skimmer about 10 ounce and one about, um, and one about four ounce. So I've got two fish at the minute. Benwell's got two or three, Gaz has got two or three, and we've all got pretty much the same on here, but I think they're catching a bit further up there. I've not heard anything off the mightiest yet, I don't know if he's bagging or not, but I'm hopefully going to come on the short line in a minute and see if we can catch a few more, but we'll just have to wait and see. It's, apparently it's fishing really hard at the minute, but we'll carry on and see what happens, so I'm going to get back to it now. I just think I had a bit of a touch then on, to, on online, but we'll crack on and uh, we'll see if we can start getting a few fish. But uh, it's fishing hard at the minute and the wind's picked up, so we'll see what happens later on. a short line now is it see what uh, he's up to. Got winds all over. You want my tea? Yeah, you know, it's nice, wasn't it?
Right, coming into the last hour now, and uh, it's not gone great to be honest, but uh, it is what it is, it's fished quite hard. I think Gav down there, he's caught a few. Oh look, there's, uh, well, if you can see him behind there, gone now. Giving us a bit of a wave, we're old uh, Matty Benwell next door. Anyway, last hour I'm going to get my head down and I'm going to try this short line, underarm line, see if we can catch a couple of bonus fish. So that's the update. Pfft, not very good at the minute. Let's uh, let's crack on. people we are all wading <laughs> well it's been a close one for me and Dave but we haven't done right well have we really no 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 it's uh, it's been tough hasn't it I thought the weather it's been 13 14 degrees I thought we're gonna have some today yeah and uh, I don't know what I don't I don't know if I'm doing stuff wrong me or what because well I've had four pound exactly and I've had how many fish you had? I, I've only had about eight fish. I've had pro, you know proper skimmers, mate. Yeah. Um, eight or nine fish, I think. But next door, Matt Benwell, he's had two and a half pound. He said he's fished it wrong, but and then next to him, I think Gaz had a, eleven, um, and he's just fished two lines all day. And then further up the arm, it, it, the the better pick. The guy next door, poor old. Uh, Kev Chalk, I think his name is. He come he come over and uh, he said his his mum had died. Oh yeah. And sorry to hear that, mate. Yeah. Uh, um, hell. I don't know how he's fished it. I'll be honest. No. So he's he's gone home and then we've helped him weigh in and and what yeah, have yeah. you. At end, but no, terrible uh, news. And when he told me, I thought bloody hell, Kev. Yeah. But uh, the thoughts go out to you, Kev. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, it's not nice. Not nice, not but nice. he's ended up having five pound, I think, and then I thought he had more than that. And then above him, it, it, there seemed to be a lot more fish on the straight for some reason. Yeah. And then Steve Ring has just apparently underarmed it at like seven or eight meters all day. End peg. Yeah. Yeah. You, you can afford to give Steve Ring an end peg, can't you? Well, it <laughs> weren't an end peg really. He just <laughs> he was the end peg in the section. All oh, right. Oh, so he hadn't right. been oh, end peg. Oh, right. Okay. I got it. I got it. I don't know. He'll be, he'll be after him now. Steve Ring will be <laughs> hunting you down. I know. Um, and he's had twenty pound or twenty one pound. He's absolute stormed it. And we we were saying at end and like people were saying, oh, we fish bloodworm, couldn't get a bite on bloodworm. I think, and then caught a maggot and all sorts of stuff. And he's I don't caught, know. He's yeah, really caught on bloodworm. Him. Yeah. Well, I don't know what's happened, but he's absolutely romped it. And he's had carp jumping in front of him, and I thought he's going to chuck carp. He's going to chuck for carp, and he hasn't. He's just fished that. So he's mighty, mighty Steve. But it's. I think, in hindsight, you think to yourself, look, if I'd have fished that all day, would they have been there or not? I'd have had more than £4, I'm sure I bloody would have done. But, 
But it, 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 they, don't, they obviously do something a little bit different somewhere on land, don't they? Whether it's yeah, down to feeding, think, whether it's in your peg management. I don't know. There's something a little bit different. Yeah, well, there's obviously some full-time yeah. anglers out every day, knows yeah. the venue, he's, he, he's in tune with it every yeah. minute, yeah. he gets all the information from all top lads. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they're, they're in tune with it, aren't they? And they, they know. He'll get on that, excuse me, he'll get on that peg and think, right, I'm not fishing for carp, I'm not doing that, I'm not doing that, I'll just fish underarm in, that's where, that's yeah. how, that's how I know, I know, the fish are there, yeah. and I'll fish that. And what do we do, Dave? Set, kitch, set the well, kitchen sink up? <laughs> I, I thought, I thought, well, I've got the island, I got the island to chuck to, you know, early carp, what we said, yeah. get an early carp, if you can. Talking of early carp, 32 seconds in. See, see, it worked, didn't it? Yeah, I thought. You get an early, early, early yeah. carp, you've got a pound straight away, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, you know, you have two lines. I have a short line and a very short line. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? It, yeah. it, there's no else to it. You, but maybe we, we're losing time. But then, like we said, if you catch three or four carp you, in that hour... And you, it's a you, good start. It's, it's a very good two, start. Two, three or four pound in your first hour. You take it all day long, won't you? So, anyway, enough of what I've had. Four pound. But, so, David Hodson, oh, four man, pound oh, for you. Home. Oh yeah, go on then. Oh, four pound for you, mate. Um, so, my mightiest, come on, let's have it. What you had? Well, I've had a carp in the first thirty-two seconds. Mm -hmm. So, there's little plan work there. I thought, nice start, Dave. Yeah, yeah, nice yeah, start. Yeah. Baited two lines up. Wasn't sure whereabouts to go on that part of the uh, moat. I did tend to think they might be a bit further out, but you just don't know, dear. We, we don't know it well enough. But I, I did a short, a very short line and a 13 metre line. That, that's what I've done today. Blood women joke on ground weight. Um, then I've had 21 fish. Might have been 22. <clears throat> but I did notice the stamp what? of my fish. 22? No. <laughs> Tiddlers. Oh. Tiddler backing. So. I was just, I was looking, I'm thinking, what are these, there was the guys to my left and right, they were catching a better stamp. And I actually talked to a nice guy called Tom Clark. His dad watches our uh, channels, Dave. Oh, good man. So, uh, Shout out to Tom me, Clark's father. T Tom Clark's dad. Nice one. And he's a very nice young man. And I, ju I just said to him, I said, what, what were you doing to get them different skimmers? And he cut, he was sick of getting little jabs like I was and tiny little fish, and he cut the joker out. With it being a little bit mild, he's cut the joker out and put a few micros in instead and he's ended up getting a better stamp of fish. Was that the key to catching a better stamp? I don't know, but like a, another thing that happened to me and all, and it did cross my mind because I, I was sick of the, you know, they were really small. I had a few Tommy Ruff that I've not had. Oh, did you have a Tommy Ruff? Mm. And I've then for years. when I've struck into a roach, roach bite, I've foul up to carp on 12 or 13 metre line. Sure it weren't a pike? No, definitely not. And then, it's gone dead, so I've gone back on cart line, yeah. refed the two lines, gone out on Bloodworm and Joker again. I've hooked into a carp at 13 metres and it's brought me again. Well, though, were I casting over those carp, Dave? I don't know. Dave? Oh, need... bloody hell. You need a, you need a nap bit. <laughs> what have you done? No, what are you on about? <laughs> Fresh as a daisy. <laughs> so basically, my 21 fish and a carp. Pretty semi skinned. He's done me three and a half pound hard. So, Graham Nash, do apologise, oh. but Dave's got a little surprise for you, haven't you? Graham Nash, so you didn't. Yeah, sorry, I, I, I drifted off there a minute. Again? <laughs> I was just thinking, I don't know what I was thinking about. I must have, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, you're, you're, yeah, I'm going to give him, we're going to give him a hat as well, aren't we? Yeah. Um, it won't be signed by. Uh, the feeder masters and all that stuff at Lee Kerry, but yeah. we're gonna we're gonna send you that anyway. So uh, we've won it, Dave. What's his name? Hodson, I think. Boo hoo! Good name, David. Oh, well done, Great Dave. Name. Well done, Dave and Dave. Yeah. Oh, where where is? Let me just make sure I've got his name right because yes, Dave Hodson. If you want to uh, send me a my private message or just 
uh, email me at baguptv at gmail.com and we'll sort your hat out with all the signed people on even the mightiest Lee Kerry and uh, Mick Viles. Yeah, didn't see yeah. Mick Viles today, did you? No, I, uh, he's, he's got Covid, so when I got oh, my first right. cap after I hope, 30... I hope he's all right. After 30 odd seconds, I sent him a picture of it and said, wish you were here, basically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that, what are you doing with Mick Viles' is, no? I didn't know you had England oh, International. I don't know everybody. God, he's, he'd go down his foot, Steve Ringer, da, 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 Mick Viles, Lee Kerry. Oh, yeah, he's got all information. Speedy, Mighty's. don't forget Speedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, but uh, yes, it's been another. Yeah, no, uh, but what does yeah, no, but mean? Yeah, but no, but it's off that little Britain, isn't it? I watched yeah. that other yeah, but uh, no, but Christmas special, I think. I get confused, mate, but I don't know if they say yes or no when you start doing that. So we've got. Oh, shut up, Alan, again. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got? I've got £4, you've got £3. Seven and a half pound. God, there's some. What are them bloody noises? They're big fireworks. Yeah, I think Matt right. Billy's just gone into the toilet. He'll be. <laughs> <laughs> I had a curry last night. <laughs> just shot some bit. Uh, yeah, so we're blabbering on. He, he, he blabbers on a bit, don't we? So, but anyway, yeah, we're going to send you the hats out. David Hodson, what's your... your Graham name? Nash. Graham Nash. We're going to send you the hats out. Oh, Graham, send me your details as well. Yeah, send him Nosher and uh, he'll sort them out. Yeah. Um, so that's it. We're probably... I wouldn't like to say where we are in the league. We were 23rd. <laughs> Could be a drop because it has fished out in some places, mm. but I felt a bit disappointed today. I had a fair few fish, but I felt a bit disappointed today. Mm. Not the great start we were hoping no. for the new year, is it? No, no. Um, but we but will. You learn a few things, Dave. I've learned a couple of things today. It's the first time I've done Bloodworm and Joker, and, and I've got a few little things in my peanut during a match if things don't seem right. So it's all about that and all, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Bit of a learning curve. Thoroughly enjoyed it. And I think we, are, we, we haven't thanked uh, the guys for ordering feeder masters yet. Uh, Organising feeder masters yet. So shall we give them a big shout out? Who are they? Lee Kerry, oh. Mick Valls, oh, yeah. everybody that gets involved organising. We do appreciate it, guys. Yes, great, and great. And all the guys that weigh in as well, they do a mighty job. So well done, guys. Yeah. We do appreciate, all of us appreciate it. So thank you very much, you guys. I needed to get that one in. Right, we'll leave it there, Alan, because... Uh, it's getting dark, isn't it? Yeah, it's getting dark and I'm I'm falling asleep, but I uh, <laughs> hope you've enjoyed the videos <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll put the results up, see where we are, hopefully. Lee Kerry does a great job, so we'll see where we are in the league, but uh, I won't I won't say that we've been moving anywhere. No, anywhere we're soon. not holding his breath, are we? No, no. But massive thanks to everybody that's commented on the videos. We do appreciate and we read every one and uh, hit that subscribe button massive thank you to all my members if anyone wants to join over my channel the members you you are welcome vice versa <laughs> yes and uh, hit that thumbs up where's your monkey click the notification bell all, and all that good stuff will be very, very nice, won't it? all that good stuff yeah 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 and uh Thanks very much. We'll see you uh, next time. We will do. Uh, how many we've got left? Two more. Two more. <sighs> we Two need more. some big weights, don't we? We're gonna smash it. Well, we've got to have a really good day. Eh? Anyway, folks, don't forget. We shall see you on the bank in two weeks' time, and don't forget to keep on bagging and fish on. <laughs> see you soon. <laughs> see ya. Good luck. Good luck. See you on See the you bank. See you on the bank, folks. <laughs> <laughs>
fish this size. as big as the others, nowhere near, but I'm not bothered. They'll come in a little bit quicker, so that will do. That's a great start for the team. And this one's some. Uh, good morning, fish people. I'm Alan Lewis from Fish on TV, and this is David Wood from Bag Up TV. Thank you, Alan. Don't sound too excited, Dave. Well, are you sure you've got me in on that camera now? <laughs> yeah, you're slim enough, Alan. You yeah. want me to move it around a bit? So that's, is that all right? Just making sure I'm in that, so. Well, but yeah, because last time my son goes, God, look at size of Alan. He looks like a little boy compared to you. You look like King Kong. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, so You look like King compared to Alan. I thought, Yes, I do actually. King Kong. He says, How tall is he? Jackson goes, How tall is he? I says, Oh, he's only small. I say, He's like a midget. <laughs> Jackson, don't believe him, I'm six foot four. <laughs> no, I'm not. 5'11". 5'11 uh, and 3 eighths. Whoa. Oops. She said it'll be... be uh, Size matters, that's what my missus yeah, tells me. Well, I say no more, Alan. Family show, family show. <laughs> God's sake, Alan. Eh? <laughs> anyway, we are not at the Feeder Master Winter Pairs, unfortunately. This is the Feeder Master Winter Pairs video at Allcroft. Yeah. But we're not there, Alan, are we? No. We're Why all, not? We're all prepped, all done, dusted, because it's like an ice box there. I went practicing on Friday. Yeah, you had a sneaky practice, ladies and gents. And the Friday before, and I've learned something. Steve Ringer, Rich, oh, Richie Here Will, we go, dropping names. <laughs> They're all <laughs> practicing all the time. God, we, we've yeah. heard about you dropping all these big bombs, uh, haven't oh, we, yeah, these yeah, big yeah, names. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. they are there practicing all the time. Yeah, they are, yeah. So the mightiest has been up, hasn't it? You don't work, do you? You're a full time angler now. Of course I do. Been grafting all week. Full time angler, don't work, goes up fishing. But it were nice over now there, you rang me, didn't you? Uh, there weren't a lot of fish being caught. No. George Robinson had a few perch. The guy on Paul had a few skimmers and ropes yeah. and perch. That was it, really. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, so Lee Kerry's put a post up at five o'clock, didn't he, last yeah, night to say yeah. um, that it's still frozen over and unfortunately we're going to have to cancel the event. So it doesn't uh, bear very well for us because we are... Because we've got, we got it sussed. We were going to empty it. Well, yeah, we? we were going to empty it as we well. We were going to empty it, folks. It's a shame, isn't it, because <laughs> we'd have moved right up that oh, lane. Right up. But unfortunately, we are 27th Seventh, yeah. out of 30 teams. We have gone down, well down, haven't we? And we, we've co we cocked it up last week, didn't we? Because last week, a lot of teams caught well, didn't they? On only, though, in the oh. last hour or so. I mean, when I was talking to them on Friday, they were saying everybody seemed to catch it last day, and they dropped on them nice skimmers, you know, them 10-ounce skimmers. All oh, right, them bigger ones. I never had anything like that. And you, you had a few of them, didn't you? I mean, you have? Yeah, I had, though, no, I only had six fish dinner yeah. or something, I think, last week. And yeah. I just had nothing. I, I, like I say, I think we've been doing something slightly wrong because we've got a lot of tiddlers I were catching. Mm. That, I think we have got it wrong. Uh, I think we've we, we've tried to work out. I think we've been to, putting too much joker in, haven't we? Yeah, I think 100%. We've got it too, too much, joker. much joker in and we've not... <sighs> just some, just some it's not clicking, is it, I think? No. and. We, we, we were going to try and do a few things a little different this week and next week, but unfortunately this week's cancelled. Yeah, so, so we, we But well, the well, points well. just stay the same, don't they? Yeah. We, nobody moves up and down. It's just basically cancelled that, that week, this week, and we'll fish it again in two weeks, just yeah. accordingly if it's not iced over again, yeah. which it shouldn't be, should it? I think the weather's going to get a little bit better. So Hopefully. And hopefully we'll... Uh... But we'll have a, a few nets full just to shove us up there. Well, right there. that's what we need, Dave. We, we're terrible, aren't we? At minute, it, 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 we're. Uh, I'm a bit embarrassed that we're down that far. I'm not. I love it all. It don't oh, sure Listen, it, you, no, it don't bother me. It's all a massive learning curve, for, especially for me. I mean, you've been doing it a few years, Dave. You should know better. You know what I mean? All oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the blame's on me. Thanks very much, ever. Yeah, that's it. I'll, I'll be out. You'll have to get that sauce. What fishes we in your club? Sauce. Or it's sauce. Whatever it is. The lovely, horrible bloke. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Someone come up to me at Fleets and said. 
something about sauce red, 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 red. All, I was like, well, I don't know oh, him. They, Calm down. Leave me alone. I don't know the guy. They've become and celebrities. So, uh, yes, I don't know out. if you were after him or what. But he goes, do you know that sauce? And I was like, no, I don't know him. He's one of Alan's mates. Yeah. So we're always asking about a Mr. Incredible, Maggot Man, Sauce. Yeah, I don't know if you were trying to hunt him down or what. <laughs> Ooh, <yeah. laughs> they ask about them more than you, Dave. Yeah, I bet they do. Yeah, bet. So, um, what's that then? We're uh, 27th, stagnant positions. Yeah. But we've uh, we managed to sneak off, didn't we? Aye, at least we've not gone further down, have we? No, we haven't gone further down. We haven't, no. So that's all right, isn't it? Yeah. So, so in two weeks, it'll be the last one. Mm -hmm. and uh, to be honest I have enjoyed it there's been some ups and some downs aren't they like with anything where, like with feeder fishing but I do think we've got it wrong and, and it's just like you said big learning curve in it and yeah, hopefully we'll um, we'll try and we'll try and do as best uh, on this last round yeah and uh, that's all we can do and don't it? forget Dave we've got a full season to go ahead with yeah it's really only the start of the season yeah. uh, this winter fishing yeah it is really yeah. looking I'm really looking forward to it so. yeah I've properly enjoyed last year, massive learning curve. You've got to start somewhere. And uh, we, yeah, we've started I, shit, and we'll uh, <laughs> hopefully it can only get better, can it? <laughs> hey, it can only get better, Alan, can Things it? Things can only get better, Dave. Things can only get, get better. better. Hey, we'll have a song off Elvis in a minute. <laughs> um, right, so that's it, oh, Al, isn't it? Oh, else to say, we'll we'll. Oh, we were going to give some away, aren't we, for the last for round? The last one, yes. So what we'll do is. We'll give some away like we did the hat. We don't know what it is yet, but we'll bring it next week. Oh, we're gonna give some ground bait away. Yeah, I've, got some, I've got some ground bait from Bag and Baits. Well, I'll I'll get some ground bait and some pellets from Bait Tech then, and we'll put them up together. Yeah. yeah. And we'll just. So, we, are we gonna do it the uh, on the last one? On the last one, yeah. yeah. So, comment below on this video if you want to win the uh, baits, uh, the Bag and Baits, and the Bait Tech pellets ground baits uh whatever whatever i might be able to chuck in a towel or something and all i don't know see see what i've got i feel like chucking towel in your 27th well, position listen listen <laughs> <laughs> god you you said no you're that's really, not you're me you're the hype man you're that's the hype not man. me folks i'm no, only kidding i have rubbed off on him and i no eh? rubbed off on him grumpy man so we'll sort something out just comment on the video um, and we'll do the same as we did last time. We'll pick a pick a couple of people, and then whoever yeah. wins between me and you will give away the ground bait. Yeah. yeah? What yeah. do you think? Good idea, that yeah. day. But I'll let you come up with some good ideas for yeah. a miserable bloke. Yeah. Not too bad you at know. all. Keep all the viewers happy. Yeah. Then so yes, be. comment below, um, and we will pick out a winner next week. No, we can't pick a winner out, can we? Because we won't know. No, we won't know until we've done. Yeah. So we'll pick two people out and we'll go from there. Yeah. Right, that's it, Alan. Uh, anything else to add? Uh, no, don't forget, folks, if you do like our videos, it's absolutely free to subscribe. If you click the notification bell, you will get all our videos as we upload them. And a thumbs up. Yeah. Come on, monkey. Oh, God, he's off the bloody monkey again. <laughs> Would be very, very nice. So don't forget, folks, until we see you on the bank next Sunday. Mm-hmm. That'd be choosy for me because I'll be old boys. Sunday, mm. take care and keep on bagging. Yeah. Oh, by the way, oh. <laughs> spoil <it. laughs> By the way, we've met up today because we're going to fish an open match at Airfield, aren't we? Yeah, I tried saying that early, but you cut me off. Did I? Oh, sorry. Alan. <laughs> so if you're not known, we're fishing a we're fishing a match today, aren't we? Yeah, I feel late. So uh, yeah, sorry for cutting you off. No, but no uh, problems. No, no. I, I just thought you wanted me to keep stumped. That uh, I've just ruined that ending for us, haven't I now? Yeah. So anyway. So don't forget, folks. Keep on bagging and fish on. See you soon. Don't make, don't sound too enthusiastic, Dave, about that one, will you? For God's sake. <laughs>
I've changed for the better this time. Well, just to, I oh, thought just to, okay, I oh, would just never oh, just be that. fine. Okay. Fishing. Blue. I strive just to say <laughs> right. I'm alright. Good luck. Good luck. See you on See the you back, folks. It's the first <laughs> time in a long time I'm alright. I've been a weird day. I've been a weird man. You always get to do the intro, don't you? Yeah. Huh? I can't wait though. You're always so hyped up in the morning. It's unbelievable. Oh, that clunker. Handy, thumbs up. Come on, monkey! Oh, God, he's off with a bloody monkey. <laughs> Would be very, very nice! See you soon. What's that? Do Merry Christmas or Alan's the mightiest fisherman of them all. <laughs> and make sure it does say that. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. We've got it sus. We were going to empty it out. We were going to empty it as well. We're going to empty it. It's a shame, isn't it? Because we'd have moved right up that way. Back a year ago. Steve Ringer. Oh, here we go, dropping names. <laughs> They're all practicing all the time. God, we. Oh, we're in the van. Let's just the mic is sorting his tackle out again. West side. <laughs> right. I'm in gangster mode today. We're taking no prisoners, Alan. No, no After prisoners. last week. Oh, do you hear what do I say? Hello, I'm Hello. David. Hello, this is David Woods from Mag Up TV. <laughs> Let's clap the winners. We're giving it a full league, up we? It's been really good. So let's let's come back afterwards. Don't forget, it's top ten pairs overall. So it's pretty much still wide open for that top ten. And everybody only cares about that in second anyway, apparently. So that's what I've heard. Anyway, have a great day. We'll fish ten till three. I'll see you later. <laughs> Hey, Shag. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 and this is David Wood from Bag Up TV. It is Sunday the 30th of January and the final round of the uh, Feeder Masters Winter Pairs. So good morning Dave. Good morning Mr Grumpy. As, Mr Grumpy As they indeed. call me. I've turned up folks. Thumbs up as he's turned up. We're here Dave. And he's like oh for God's sake. I not, could, not I could him just again. have an I've just had a nod after that <laughs> breakfast, Ella. I'm absolutely not. I went fishing yesterday and caught notes. So <laughs> notes changed them days. Oh yeah. Changed. I like that. Um 
But no, yeah, we're here. last round of the no, feet. yeah, again. <laughs> oh, for no, God's yeah. sake, Alan. No, yeah, it's back again. Last round today. Thank God, <laughs> I'll get rid of him for good. <laughs> I'm not asking him again next year. We, that's it. The last bloody round. So we had a prize to give away. Are we, doing we, it? Are we doing it next year? What? This? Well, I don't know. You need to book your ideas up, but. We're doing it next year. <laughs> yeah, we're doing it next year. Get oh in. God. I've already, I've already told them we're doing it. So good stuff. Right. Good stuff. So I'm only joking. We've just been in the draw bag, Dave, haven't we? Yes, we've I'm, been in the draw bag. I've drawn you a lovely peg. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy about it to be honest. Tell eight, them all about eight it. Eight on croft. It's a nice area. A lot of fishing croft, small fish, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. It's uh, a decent area. And I've drawn. The same bloody peg as last time, peg 100 on moat. Mm, I think the best weight off there is five pound. I had three and a half last time, didn't I? Yeah, it, I think it's more carp in it around that area, yeah, but yeah. But anyway, we've got a little competition, haven't we, to uh, yeah. give away? I'm going to do the same as last time. So I've gone for all my message. Thank big thank you to everybody that's commented. We're giving away the ground bait, the bait tech ground bait, the Bagham's ground bait, and some of the wafters as well. Um, so we're giving those away, and I have picked my phone. My bloody phone's in the car, Alan. But I remember my. Uh, I put up what he said there, and on the screen, and his name is John Cant, and he and he sent us a lovely message. Right. Um, so a massive thanks to uh, everyone that's commented. I'm going to fish for John Cart today. Go on, John. <laughs> Go on, son. Go on, son. <laughs> and I've picked. I'll read this one out. Can you see it, Al? I ain't yeah. even got my glasses on. I've not blown it up very much. <laughs> I'm kidding, I don't need it that big. Right. He's an idiot. Anthony Williams. I've picked you out. There were loads again, loads and loads of fantastic comments. There's too many to sort of mention them all, but thank you very much, everybody, for all your wonderful comments. Absolutely love them. Uh, I just picked this one out. It's literally spin it and put my finger on it, and Anthony Williams, and it's a great one as well. Nosh, your videos and the old boys are my favourite thing on YouTube, alongside the Laurel and Hardy stuff oh, with Dave. Oh, God's sake. <laughs> Keep it coming, matey. So, Anthony Williams, I'm fishing for you today. Don't hold your breath. We shall see what Peg 100's like. Yeah, it's 50 50 i'll let it don't you yeah. uh, worry but we've got it in the bag john come on lads we're we counting your chickies too early dave oh i'm gonna smash it today it's the last round last round we're so, in currently in 20 you got it wrong didn't you ooh, what are we in 27 28 28 so the only way is up the only way is up <laughs> no we have made a few little changes let's hope it works today eh? yeah Bloody hell. Oh. Uh, one of your fans over there, Al, is he? Uh... Yeah, autographs later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> nutter. God's sake. Uh, but, oh, you've lost, I've lost it now, Al. Are you, you've you've lost the plot. What's going on about? Oh, we've made a few it? little changes. Oh, that was it, yes. Yeah. yeah. And the last round got cancelled because of, yeah. and we'd have moved up the board, no. the leaderboard. We would have. We'd been, have had it, wouldn't we? Yeah, them oh, changes yeah. what we'd had. Yeah, we'd and, have and today would have been the icing on the cake, then, wouldn't it? Yeah, straight up. Yeah. But it weren't to be. Last week got cancelled, so this is the last round now, and the the scores had stayed stayed the same. Win twenty eighth, and the only way is up. Now let's finish on a big one this this week. Yeah, let's have a few fish this time. I fancy a few fish this time, definitely. So. Um, Right, so that is it, isn't it? The last time, last time. God, I thought I life? could bloody smell something. What the hell's that? It's banana. You stupid monkey. <laughs> God <laughs> sake. Bloody monkey. Well done, monkey. I bet that's been there for years, that bloody banana. I've never seen it before. <laughs> bloody No, no, it's stunk in here. Right, I'm I'm so happy it's the end of. <laughs> I wish there were another round. Oh God. Anyway, I'm gonna catch loads of fish this year because I'm. Uh, this is last time I'll be seeing him. So, <laughs> <laughs> good luck, Dave. All good luck, best. last round, man. Come on, it's let's been, have, it's let's been have a pleasure. Fish. It has. I've enjoyed it. It's been a good learning curve. Thoroughly enjoyed it. We're ready for the next one next year. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Right. <laughs> right. Always next time, folks. <laughs> God's sake! Shut up. Right. right. We shall see you on the bank. <laughs> on, Dave. Yeah. See you later. <laughs> Yeah. Okay.
But all I was thinking is I had them exact liners and couldn't catch them, remember? Yeah. And then I caught, I caught them and I didn't. That's the only thing I could think of. I'd, they were in silt then and you'd fed silt. Right, good luck. Right, got down to the peg. We're on um, peg eight on Croft. We're all set up. Um, it looks quite nice, to be honest. Here we go. Flat calm. Got Will uh, Freeman next door. This side, George Robinson. Then Matt Benwell and Steve Whitfield. So. Looks all right, doesn't it? Um, it's it's pretty cold, but the sun's shining. Um, at least we're uh, it's not raining or anything. But I'm just going to keep it simple. We're not like I said. We're only fishing for a section. We can't do anything in the league, so I'm just going to keep it simple. Two rod approach. One one at like uh, 15 meters, and then one uh, three quarters to the middle. Um, and then probably later on a little underarm one, but that's about it. Bait wise, we've got bloodworm, bit of joker, a few maggots, a few pinkies, um, and then just some fishery pellets there. And you know, I like to put a few reddens on. This is his ground bait, special G green. We we are for special G green, we are for special G black. That's it. Gone for a bit of a lighter ground right now that it started getting a bit warmer. And then just two rod approach, two feeder rod set up, that is it. Um, small feeders, 15 gram feeders. Um, I've got a couple of 10 gram ones and a couple of cage feeders just to change. So Nosh is drawn at 100. I'm fishing for John, I think it is. Yes, John. So come on, John, let's see if we can get the ground bait for you. And uh, that's it, so we're going to be off in two minutes, so uh, let's see how it goes. Two little skimmers at the moment. Uh, people 
of catching the odd fish in that, but it uh, seems really quiet. There's another skimmer. Let's catch it a few carp. 
Right, so we're about an hour and a half in at the moment. We've got four skimmers, uh, a couple of roach and a couple of tommy ruff. Not caught a tommy ruff for blooming years. Uh, it's going all right at a minute. It's not too bad. It's a bit slow now. I'm not getting that many bites now, but I don't know. I haven't heard off Nosha, see what he's catching. I know um, over there, uh, Al Till is in corner. I think he's had three or four carp. Uh, someone else had a few carp up there, I think, as well, but uh, yeah, it's steady away. People are odd catching odd one, but uh, I think Will next door, he's, he's catching quite quite regular, but they're only small. So anyway, we'll get we'll plod back on and we'll uh, see if we can get a few more. Bring on the stripe, is it? in the last hour now I've not heard anything else from Nosher but when I talked to him earlier he had about five or six skimmers he says oh we're eight skimmers so I think he's doing well so I don't know what to make of it I'm fishing for John on today so uh, hopefully we'll try and uh, 
get a couple of bonus fish in this last hour. Um, I'm going to try and come short and uh, see if it works in this last hour. Hopefully we'll get a bonus fish. So if not, we'll film that. If we uh, if we do, we'll film it. If not, uh, you'll see us at the uh, weigh-in. So uh, that's it. That's a bit of an update for you. So uh, we'll see you at the weigh-in. Monster of a brain, that. I can look heavy. Yeah. Oh, with that big yeah. cream in there. That's them all. Good effort. That bream, isn't it? Seven pound seven. Can you take a picture of that bream? Yeah, Dave. That was on the underarm, wasn't it? Yeah. That's deep. Seven seven. seven. Oh, done, mate. That fucking slab, isn't it? That slab of Rune. Oh, that makes a difference, doesn't it? I wouldn't have that, I wouldn't have a note. God stays! Yeah. Oh, God. I've just come to uh, Nosh's peg to finish off the video. Look at the state of it. He's an idiot, isn't he? Look at it. Oh, he's <laughs> We've got him, folks, we've got him. Don't fall in, will you? Hey, they're new, aren't they? Look, my eyeglasses. Oh, that's gold! I don't know. Bloody hell. Yes, I'm ready. Welcome, everybody! Yeah, it's back up TV and fish on TV. I've done the intro. F you. <laughs> Not oh, quite the same, oh, yeah, Dave. Same well, <laughs> that's the end of the series and the end of the match. That's how you do it. Sorry. I'm not getting too excited. That's first thing in the morning when you're half asleep yeah. and I can't wait. Yeah, true. You know what I mean? True, true. She just gets it all in wrong order, folks, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> Normally, we are really miserable at this time of day, but we've not been a million miles away. Oh, no, we've, we've not done all. We've not done too bad, have we? No, you don't think you're in there, Alan. Just, uh, just move that over. You look a bit. Uh... I'll stop breathing in. Yeah. Um. Yes, that's it, Alan. Um. I've had. Oh, it's a big drum roll, this, isn't it? How many did fish you had? Oh, you've had diddly. loads of tiddlers as well. Yeah, I've you? had loads of small fish and then I've had a big bream. Yeah. And uh, I've had seven pound eight. It's either seven eight or seven six. I can't actually remember. And, well, um, I think mine's nine or eleven. I, I can't remember. Oh, no, it's six pound eleven. Yeah! <laughs> 
John can't. You are the winner. We're changing your name to John can because we can and we can smash it. We've won it for your son. Oh, he's had a get Go out. Go on, He's had a get out of jail fish, hasn't he? Good fishing, I'm calling it. Yeah. Good. No, no. I think his little talk. I think it's half work today, hasn't it? Uh, we've changed a couple of little it, things. I'll tell you we? what, it's a shame we didn't fish that match when it was frozen because we'd have been moving up and up oh. and up. We'd have oh. we'd have been in the top ten for oh. sure, wouldn't oh, we? Oh yes. So I tell you, all you people out there what have fished it, we'd have been we'd have had your money, pal, wouldn't we? Yeah. We'd have been in top ten. Oh no, we wouldn't we're, really. Without a shadow of a doubt. No, we've had a we've had a bit of a chat, haven't we, and tried to work it out and, and what have you. And I just think you aren't drawn a very good peg today, so you've done no. well there, Alan. Yeah, so. well I've checked. I've che that is exactly the same peg I fished last time. The best weight off that peg is five pound the yeah, whole Yeah, you've series. done well there, so, so well done. I was quite I was quite pleased with that. Because I want happy at draw, what I I was like, oof, got it same peg. No, I <laughs> I I was very happy with mine and um I thought, um, you know, I was going to get at least £12, but it, it, it was just quiet in areas and, and couldn't get... And George Robinson, he went next door to me. He's no slouch, is he? He only oh, had no. £5. And Steve Whitfield was further down. He went corner, but he only had £3. But Will... Will Freeman, is it? Yeah, Will He's Freeman, just done yeah. me. Oh, that's Lee Curry's banner, isn't it? Yeah, so, uh, £9 he has, right, he had, so right. he just did me fit section. So. so he's just done you foot section. I think Matt Godfrey had £7.01, Guy next to me had £8.02, and he's won the section. So the big bream I lost at the beginning cost me the bloody section. And it cost your... your yes, your, it did. Your guy winning the ground bait, so bad on you, Nosha. I do apologise, Anthony, was it? Anthony. Yeah, I do apologise. I did my best. I did my mightiest. <laughs> Anthony, I'm, I'll slap him for you some when I get outside, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> no, but thoroughly enjoyed the series. I'd like to, like I said, we thank Lee Kerry and um, Mick Viles, but everybody that's been, that's been involved in organising all that, fabulous. I've thoroughly enjoyed it been a big learning curve i think we've got one or two things we can take on board for next year aren't we? mm. are we going to do it next year yeah i think so yeah, we, i've really enjoyed well it. i might see who was in my phone book i see if oliver's available <laughs> and i might see if james is no need james for that Pete dave and, no need know, for just, that if they can't do it then uh, we'll see we'll see uh, yeah just ask all them first <laughs> <laughs> no yeah we'll do it next year mate it's been all right and it, it yeah. it's like we any f winter fishing it's been hard and then You've caught a few, and yeah. I'd, I do think though we've not had the best of draws. But then again, I think I've had a couple of better draws than you on Bridge, and I think that I've cocked it up a couple of times on yeah. there. So, uh, and then the one where I drew it on, I drew that peg on Bridge forty or whatever it is in that corner where you can't chuck to Ireland. I did all right on it. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh no! I've, in fact, I've had that bloody twice. That bloody peg. Have you? Yeah. And you've had that one twice, haven't I have, you? I have had that one twice, yeah. That's weird, isn't it, that? How you draw, same sort of area. Mm. Strange, isn't I it? I wasn't happy, I know that, but anyway, it's turned out half, half decent day. Only you've a done well, not, I, I will put my hands together, you've done well off yeah! that day. Yeah! I'll Get give in. you that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sounds that, really enthusiastic. That's all, I, that's that all I'm... That, I'm not complimenting you again because your head won't be able to get out of bloody van, so... Yeah. Um... And plus, I just tried to put bloodworm on without my specs, you know, I dropped them, didn't I? Uh, that last half hour, I tried to put bloodworm on and we hadn't we shaking like that, and I thought, oh my God, I'm not going to get this on a size 12. You need some of the man blowers, Dave. I've been cushed you today. But, um, but, no, yes, it's been a great series. No, yes. What? What, what does that mean, no, oh, yes? Sh shut up, no, sure. For God's sake, lad. I don't understand no, yes. I can't wait to go fishing on my own. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go it fishing on my own. He turned up this morning, looked like he'd lost a fiver, and I'm like, "Come on, Dave!" Yeah. And he's like, oh, "God, he's here again." I can't wait to go fishing on my own. <laughs> I don't want to hear from you until next year. <laughs> be more like next week. <laughs> so we, um, oh, in fact, we'll just talk about the end of it. So I think we'll put the results up for you now. See where we've come in the league. I'm hoping that we're not. 
I'm hoping we've moved up a few. Yeah. Uh, fingers crossed. I didn't want to be down at the bottom, bottom. But if we've moved up a few, it is what it is. But if not, it doesn't matter, does it? We've still had a nice... Uh, oh, it's <coughs> been a steady day today. Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. The winners, I would assume it's it's Steve Ringer and Frankie. Frankie is it? and Jelly. Um, I think they've won it. Gianni Jelly, oh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but. It's and then not. I reckon Lee Kerry and Will, Will Freeman, Freeman have come second. And yeah. then we'll put the results up for you now. You can have a look and uh, enjoy them. And well done to all the people who made it in the top 10. And that's yeah. what we're Well done, guys. For. Well fished. It's not an easy venue. I think some of them know it, know it a bit better than others do. Yeah, it's, so. it's, 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 it's been an eye opener. Really enjoyed it. So that's the main thing. Um, but we've got a bit of a new series coming for you, haven't we? And I think the first one will probably be up before this video. Yeah. Um, yeah. I know we've had a laugh, haven't we? Yeah, we've had a bit of a laugh, and we, it's called the chat in the van or in the van fishing chat. We haven't really named it yet, have we? It's in the van, I think. Yeah. Uh, we've got together and had a. We're just going to have a bit of a fit because you all out there like it. This is your favourite bit. People have commented on saying this is his favourite. Forget, <laughs> Forget the fishing. Forget the fishing. We'll have just a bloody have a chat in van. So we thought we'd get together and do a bit of a chat in a van, talk yeah. about fishing subjects and uh, what and everything like that. So and all sorts of other rubbish. Yeah, just just rubbish. You know, you know, Nosher, he can rattle on like the best of them. And can't try he? not to divert off questions that you get asked, Dave. Oh, don't. We, we've already done the episode and he's a bloody nightmare about it. He can't get... I'm like, right, who's this? And he's like, well... He goes, I want this. And he goes all the way around yeah. and then comes back. There's nothing wrong with that. Can't get a straight answer out of anyone in. But anyway, that should be on my channel at the start. And then the next episode... We'll be on Fish on TV. We'll be on Nosh's channel, Fish on TV. So uh, we're going to do it every couple of weeks we think see how it goes anyway see what you think to the first video let us know if you think it's all right or if it's a load of crap we'll not bother with it but yeah. i think it i think it's a bit of a laugh and uh yeah it should be all right shouldn't yeah, it so. there's a bit of a laugh and there's some serious stuff it's it's fishing isn't it we're just talking yeah, about fishing talking about fishing ups and downs and all that sort of stuff so yeah yeah good stuff yeah see what you think, think there'll be loads to talk about won't they um so that's it for the feeder master winter pairs 2021 slash 22. Yeah, and well done, David Wood. You've had a couple what of mares, but you've had a couple. You've had a couple of mares, but you've had a couple of good days, haven't you? Well, no, I no, I, we haven't, to be honest, Alan, because oh. you know why? We haven't won a section. No, we, we haven't. haven't won a section. We haven't been in the money once. We've just contributed loads of readies. So, in fact, I'm taking that as a bad. Bad uh, result, Alan. Yeah, just ignore me. what I just said. Though. Yeah, ignore what Alan says. Yeah. Talking absolute shit again. We've done rubbish. But we've enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we we, have... We've done crap, but we've enjoyed we it. We oh, enjoyed it. Oh, we have, yeah. God. Stop with the goddamn monkey. <laughs> um, so that's it. And I hope you enjoyed these videos as much as me and Alan have done them. And uh, we do put a lot of effort into them doing the videos and and thank you very much for watching them it's been uh been great great comments thank you very much and hope you keep enjoying them what do you reckon yes so that's it guys uh big up all my members all the subscribers make sure you if you're not subscribed to mine go on to alan's channel subscribe blah 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 blah, blah. big thumbs up from the big guy come on al if you click the notification bell, you will get all our videos as we upload them. And a thumbs up. Come on, monkey. Oh, God. We'll be very, very nice. Yeah. That's it, isn't it, Dave? Oh, have we, have what, we done what? Hat Suddies and t shirt Have we done that? Uh, no, if you want to order Hat Suddies t shirts from the Bag Up from TV, from Bag Up TV, just email me at baguptv at gmail.com. That is it, Alan. I am going home and uh, I'm going to go. What are you having for tea tonight? Well, I had a ruby yesterday. Oh, God. We knew you'd have a bloody ruby, <laughs> muddy, bloody, duddy curry. Well, I'm assuming it will be Yorkshire puddings with a meat and veg. Ooh. If there isn't, there's some rolling pin for my missus. She knows to snap on the table. Bloody hell, you know I'm hey. When yeah. you're... Hey, I'm surprised when I come round the other night... Other than overnight you should have got your missus get go on get dave a cup of tea and yeah, she brought, she, come out with biscuits and all but she weren't there was she no saying that she lets you go fishing four times a week so she must be a right good in your it's life. first time first time this week 
I've been fishing. Oh, God. I've been call, absolutely call the chomping, at the, chomping at the bit. Yeah, where's my violin? <laughs> <laughs> So, right. anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Hope you really enjoy the videos. Don't forget, keep on bagging. And keep on bagging even more. <laughs> A fish on. <laughs> yes, get in, Dave. Right.